Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? Got another Universes Beyond Lord of the Rings uh, set booster box. Tales of Middle Earth. We're going to open up here. Guaranteed foil and art card in every pack. Woo, exciting. So, anyways, we're going to break in here, see if we get anything exciting. Um, the rares and uncommons are actually the, the big chase cards in this set so far. At least last time I looked, which was a couple days ago. So, it may have changed. Box topper. I think they should do box toppers in every set. That's just me. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but I think box toppers and a reset would be the way to go. I like the box toppers. As long as they're not lame like the uh, uh, Streets of Nature Painter where it's the same one in every single box. That was kind of cheesy. All right. Anyways, let's break in here. See if we get any Nazgul's or uh, little Orcus dudes there that are blowing the, the scene. This is Japanese pack, so let's pull tabs. Also means our rares up front, or Garmy and uh, Uncommon Paul and Burder Dur, uh, Bered Dur. I don't know. It sounds funnier when you say Burder Dur. All right, so there we go. No Nazgul's. Oh, still Uncommon's going. And a foil base command and our art card. There we go. Nothing too exciting yet. What are you guys thinking of the set so far? Another orc army. Oh, all right, foils everywhere. The Shire for our next rare. And our extended art. I guess there's going to be one of those in every pack. So we're going to move the piles over. So we got room for the mythics if we ever start pulling mythics, that is. All right, uncommons. Nope, no Nazgul's. No Nazgul's. Bummer. And art card is. Yeah, Tubby. Moving on. We got a list card, Hope of Girapore from Aether Revolt for a list card. And then another Uncommon Foil, War of the Last Alliance, and Pippin of Bravery. And still no Nazgul's. It seems to me like they kind of knew that was going to be valuable. Because, hey, oh, that's her. A foil stamp planeswalker symbol on there. Technically a sign card. Not really, though. Um, you know, they know that whenever they put some, a card that you can have more than four of in your deck, Foil Common, Shagrat, Grey Havens, uh, they know that it's going to be valuable because history has proven that if you can use more than four in your deck, it's going to be a valuable card. People are going to want it because there's not going to be as many of them out there for everybody. So, I think they nerfed them a little bit because there's nine different variants. You'd think the odds of pulling them would be a little higher. Guess Verdict from uh, Gate to New Phyrexia. Common Foil. Mines of Moria. Hey, there's a Nazgul. All right, we got one. We got one Nazgul so far. So, not bad. That was in the that was in the special slot, wasn't it? <laughs> I see what they did there. They put it in the special slot. It's not even in the normal slot. All right. I smell shenanigans. Was I wrong? That seemed like it was in a special spot. All right, thought that might have been a foil Nazgul. That would be cool. Horn of the Mark. Nasty end. And nothing exciting. Foil land. Oop, that's not the pile that goes in. And another art card. Okay. Keep it moving along here. So far, we got nothing too exciting. Food token. Mini Puttings. Legolas. Uh... Myriadark? No, I don't know how to say any of these words. Words are words are foreign. I don't get it. And there's our card. I'm not actually English. I speak a different language called Bad English. Food. Sting. Good band. Good artist. Whatever. <laughs> and nothing in the back. And full art land and another art card. Okay, moving right on through, breaking on through to the other side. All right, which kind of perforation we got on this one? We got the long dashes. There's dots and there's dashes, depending on where they're made. Rising of the day, finally a, a mythic. You got a Gandalf the White. No place to put them. Uh, the fell beast gets me every time. I th every time I see a fell beast, I think it's a Nazgul until I see it. I'm like, oh, disappointment. All right, so our first mythic. Where are we? We're a third of the way through the box. We finally got a mythic. What is going on here? 
Traveler's Cloak from Conspiracy 2, I think. Take the crown, I think. Goldberry. Oh, there we go. Galadriel for a Commander Mythic. Peregrine Took. And no more Nazgul's. We've only gotten one in a box so far. Even draft box, we only got one. So, feels like they definitely nerfed them, and they might only get one in a box. And Sora on the Dark Lord for our next Mythic. All font. The all font in the room. All right. And Swampy. And our art card. All right. Let's see if the other two thirds of the box picks up a little bit. Soldier. Common. Horn of Gondor. Shrine Sheriff. Shire Sheriff. Shire Sheriff. Yeah. Okay then. All right. And art card. Another. Nothing exciting yet at all. Galta. Hey, there we go. You know, just got to complain about things, and then you'll get good cards. Galta Primal Hunger from uh, Rivals of Ixalan. So there we go. That's not a bad little discard to pull. Common Foil. Frodo. Knights of Del Monte. Um, and there we go. All right. About halfway through the box. The best card so far is a list card. <laughs> Tentacle token. Full rare. And scroll of Isildur. And Rivendell. And a Sultan Azgalath. Okay, four, so four rares in a row in that pack. Rising of the day. That was interesting. Um, four rares right in a row. Not bad. Card. Decent pack, but unfortunately, none of those rares are really the ones we're looking for. Food token, and common foil, Aragorn. There you go, Witch King of Angmar. I think that's one of the better mythics in the set, so not bad. And Stone of Irk. Stone of Screech. Is that Screech from Saved by the Bell? Yeah. Right. There we go. Nothing. We definitely need to pull some more mythics in the less half of this box here. Orc Army. Legolas. There we go. Palantir. Oh, man, that stock really put a hurting on us. Whew. Yeah. Right. And people that don't buy stocks are like, what is he talking about? All right. And Art Guard. I'm going to start saying Art Guard like Bean Croc in the old, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Steak and Shake commercials. The mithril coat. And nothing exciting. Well, and, and, bean crack. I mean, arc art. All right. How annoying would that get after a whole box? <laughs> What's this? A seed zombie from the, uh, oh, it was a double feature box from Midnight Hunt. <laughs> Weird. Okay. And Isildur's Fateful Strike and Flame of Anar, so two rares in a row. There we go. And still no Nazgul's in a regular slot. That's weird. I think they nerfed them. They did it on purpose. There's nine printings of the cards, nine different variants. You'd think we'd get a few in a box. Okay. Collective Restraint from uh, Invasion on the Wayback Machine here, the old retro border and everything. And Samwise Ganji. Rosie Cotton. I think she's part of an infinite combo already. Creating squirrels for days. And land and a signed art card. I was going to say, we double tapped that same art earlier, so it would have been weak if it hadn't been signed. Not that it's really signed. I think when they start doing the actual signature cards, that's going to be a big boon as well as the like the, uh, the serial number cards have been. So looking forward to that. Ewan. Ewan again. What is going on? Two different Ewing cards, back to back. I guess that's how you say it, Ewing. Am I right? Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Don't really care. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Right, there we go. Art card. Art card. Right, I won't do it anymore. Maybe one. Maybe it'll back. I don't know. I haven't decided. Food. Hey, the one ring. There we go. That's the mythic that everybody kind of cares about a little bit, I guess. At least they did a couple days ago. We'll see. <laughs> it may have, may have plummeted down to nothing again. Uh, and there we go. Art card. And we're getting down there. 
We're almost through this. Oh, another old school. Uh, oh, no, not, not old school. It's Time Spiral Remastered, not Time Spiral. Uh, Joe's Avenger from TSR. And Display of Power. Legolas. And no Nazgul's. Not a single one in a regular slot. That's fishy. That's very fishy. They knew what they were doing. They do these things on purpose. And Detonate from Mirrodin for another older guard in the list spot. And Call of the Ring for a rare. All font in the room. And that's it. Art card. Five, six, seven left. And then we'll open our box topper. Another list card. Wow, game plan from Battle Bond. Okay, so nice. We're getting some decent list cards. Rivendell. Paradora again for the double tap. This time pull art though. And then anything else? Nope. Nothing exciting. Foil Swamp and Art Card. Alright, six more. Was that seven eighths of the way through the box now? <laughs> Human Soldier. Orcus Bowmasters. There they are. So the Bowmasters is one of the more valuable rares in the set. I think the most valuable rare. I don't know. Last time I looked it was. And a Swampy and Art Guard. That art looks pretty cool. Kind of dark, but it looks cool. Ballistic Boulder, because, you know, rocks fly. They got wings, I swear. Sharky. Samwise. No Nazgul's. None. Ah, here we go. Only get them in the special slot. That is not right, sir. Tentacle. Goth Mog. Sword on the Necromancer. Pippin's Bravery. And no Nazgul's. There's a reason they're valuable right now. There's a reason they're 10 to 15 bucks a piece, at least for a couple days ago. All right, Orc Army. Labelia. Bell Beast, the horse everybody cares about. And that's it. Oh, it's another signed art card. So, third one. So, holding true to the last few sets where we found three signed art cards in every set box we've opened. <laughs> so, unless it's just me. Uh, seems to be the case. The Balrog, full art, full. I love the artwork on that guy. It's pretty cool. I guess that's one of the panorama ones. There's six cars that make panoramic art for that. Then, Schwab. Oh, and a double tap. Okay. Same pack. That's goofy. All right. Well, we got three pair, three rares in the pack, so that's good. Yeah, no Nazgul's in the regular slots. That's, that's fishy. One more pack. I'm going to guess it's not an actual uncommon then. All right. And yeah, Horn of Gondor. And en Enduril, the Flame of the West. I don't know what that is. And Gadriel and or Galadriel, I don't know. And Saradoc. So four rares. Well, three rares and a mythic in that pack. Not bad. And yeah, not a single Nazgul in a regular slot. The Nazgul we pulled, we got in the kind of special ancillary slot there. So I'm calling shenanigans. I don't know if they actually put the Nazguls in the regular slots or not. And that's probably why everybody's chomping at the bit to get them, because you can't get them because not many people are opening them. All right. What do we got for a box topper? Anything good? Let's see. This could make or break us. Deserted Temple. I don't think that's very good. All right. I could be wrong. Is that one good? I don't think it's good. So there we go. Deserted Temple for our box topper. Looks kind of meh on the foiling. It's kind of dark and cloudy. It was a dark and cloudy day when we looked at the Deserted Temple. All right. How many Mythics did we get? With the box topper... Count it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mythics. Uh, but we did get the one ring, and we got the Witch King. Um, and again, off the white, I think it's worth a few bucks. So not too bad on the mythics. We did pretty good on the list spot, too, though. We got the, the game plan and the detonate, Jota's Avenger, Collective Restraint, Seed Zombie. Galt of Primal Hunger, though. That was a good one. Traveler's Cloak, Guest Verdict, and Hope of Girapore. So, we did get one Nazgul and one Orcus Bowmasters in the box. So, it seems like, because the draft box I opened, I only got one Nazgul also. And I wasn't looking for Nazguls the first set box I opened, or the second one. 
So we'll have to see what's going on here with the Nazgul's, but I only found it in the ancillary slot there. And it is number 335, so maybe they didn't put them in the regular regular slots at all. And that's why we're having trouble getting enough. Eh, it'd be kind of cheesy if they did that and then said you could have nine of them in your deck. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description below. A lot of links down there. Save your money, get cash back on all your purchases. I think overall it's a pretty decent box. Let me know what you guys think, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye.